Hi, it's Alicia from the Pretty Brown Eye Reader. I have decided to do a reading diary for Hispanic Heritage Month. And um, it runs from September 15th through October 15th. And um, I was going to share some of the things that I have been reading. Each, um, each day that I work my full-time job, I generally go to the library on my lunch break. Uh, especially when I bring my lunch in and just you know be in the cool and see what's going on and all that but I've been having a problem I have commitment issues and I can't commit to reading a, a book anymore it seems like um, I do okay with my library reading but not necessarily checking a book out um, when the mood strikes, I'll pick up one of my thrift store books, but I just haven't been checking anything out from the library. But what I have been doing is reading short stories. So, um, for Hispanic Heritage Month, I've been reading Hispanic authors. And so, each my plan was each day to share the stories that I've been reading. However, you know, a library is a dangerous place for a bibliophile to be on lunch break an hour long lunch break because that can easily turn into two hours i have to set my alarm to make sure i'm up and out on time because <laughs> even if i read just one short story by the time i go to put the book oh that's not i not checking anything out so i put the i get a book off the shelf and then i put it uh, back on the shelf before i leave and so in the process i might see something that strikes my fancy and i'm like oh let me check that out but anyway <laughs> that's a whole nother story <laughs> so I have been reading some short stories um, by Hispanic authors and um, let me share a few of those with you hold on just a moment let me get my little notebook so each day I take my little notebook and it's the um, you can see it it's a journal I got from the Izzy and Live boxes the brown sugar box it says the musings of a magical black girl so anyway I write down my thoughts about each story in those so I want to share um, two of the stories that I have read so far and um, I'll show y'all what I've been eating for lunch because I've been eating th the same thing every day hummus and crudite and some pita chips because my family and I we had this uh, decision that we were going to go meatless so I'll just show it to you one time because it's the same thing I've been eating every day but anyway so the first story I read is a story called The Wedding and it's by Denise Chavez and I'll just read the first line of the story because I think it captures the whole thing the, well, the essence of the story if my marriage is going to be like my wedding then I'm in a lot of trouble so the main character we follow this um, bride-to-be who is already pregnant and she's marrying her boyfriend and um, they have a wedding day that is quite memorable it um, <laughs> if any and everything can happen it does in the wet at the wedding and it's quite entertaining but yet at the same time this truly happened to somebody I would be really sad for them another thing when reading that story I found was that you could change the names and change the variety band to a DJ and it could be easily a story about a whole nother ethnicity I don't think it was necessarily something that was truly a Hispanic only kind of thing and I think that's one of the important things of celebrating different cultures is you get to see the oneness of humanity that just because this story is written by a Hispanic person it could easily be some someone else um, but that was the first story I read and it was quite entertaining and I had never read anything by that author before he either the second story I read was a book um, a book, a, a short story called Manic Hispanic and it's by Rick Najara and it was about a what was he? a screenwriter and it talks about he's almost so pro-Hispanic that he's 
anti everything and the sh the short story in itself was only four pages but within that four pages he color he covers colorism amongst, amongst Hispanics um, animosity between Hispanics and Anglos um, so it's, it was a very interesting read but it it wasn't enjoyable I would say it almost it's like the title manic it was all over the place kind of um, so I'm not sure about that one uh, and then I started another um, short story and it's called The Frying Pan by Lionel Garcia and I'm hoping today to go back in and finish reading that one when I've been reading the short stories I'm not allowing myself enough time to record at the end of my reading so that's why I had to do I just had to take some time today to um, just put my thoughts out there and hopefully by the rest of the week I'll be able to share more after after I reach each story till the next time hi it's Saturday and I did not feel my reactions to the short stories that I read for the week I am at my part-time job and uh, on my lunch break here <laughs> so I figured I would share some of the things uh, the stories that I was reading for this week um, I can't remember how much I talked about the frying pan in my last clip but um, the frying pan by Lionel Garcia is a short story that I've read this week and it is about a man who I think probably was in the early stages of Alzheimer's or dementia dementia he um, he constantly was doing the same things over and over again but anyway in the story he he, he wants his wife to cook dinner for him and his friends in the middle of the night. The story to me kind of explored gender roles a little bit because he was so macho that he was just going to demand that his wife cook this food. And he has an unfortunate incident with the frying pan. And so that very thing that he equated with a woman's role wind up getting the best of him and it's kind of comical but yet at the same time it's very sad of the things that happened to this man Mr. Garcia that was an interesting read um I still was kind of thinking about it after I had read that one then on the next short story that I read um was by an author who I've read a book by her before the author's name is Janine Capo Crisette, and I read her book, uh, what's the name of it, Home Among Strangers, and that book is about Cuban, well, it's about a first-generation Cuban-American, and she goes to college at a prestigious university, and she lives in Miami, but she winds up going to school in the North. And you get to see how she has to make her home among strangers. And then when she comes back to Miami on, or during her break, she's having to make her home among strangers because she's moved on. And at the same time, her her family is doing different things that makes them strangers within their context of where they are. So that book was really good. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it on BookTube. But to me, that was a good read, especially if you're a first generation college student, you can identify with a lot that she went through. I was first generation. And so <laughs> it was like, yeah, I went through that. I went through that. I went through that, too. <laughs> so I, I really enjoyed that book. So I read a short story by her this week called Animal Control. From the title, you would think it's about stray animals being controlled, but it's actually about the human animal and how we have to control our actions and emotions at time um, the essence of that story is a guy his roommate dies unexpectedly uh, from being murdered for some random reason nobody even really knows and he's forced to have to figure out what to do with his roommate's ferret and they've only been roommates a short amount of time so he knows nothing about this animal and he knew nothing really about his roommate 
but we see how he pro the roommate has to process what has happened to the the, the killed individual on the title and talking about the ferret I, I, that was when my mind went that animal control would be about actually animals but then I realized as the story progressed it was more about that human animal so I have enjoyed reading Hispanic um, short stories this week I hope that um, what I've shared will you know cause you to pick up a, a author or two it has helped, you know, me to read some authors that I probably would never have heard of or anything like that. So I really enjoy it. I'll show y'all what I'm having for lunch today. Don't tell my family, but I am I snuck and got me some meat today. <laughs> so I got chicken wraps from Chick-fil-A and I have the avocado lime ranch dressing to go with them. Thank you for watching and have a great day.